second time in office. Ruto has been visiting churches and other places around the country claiming to be the only saviour to be the much-needed saviour of the country's most disadvantaged, while dismissing his opposition as political dynasties. However, the recent uncovering of his vast wealth has left the chief hustler exposed, forcing him to adapt to a new tact and his widely popular narrative. Just a week ago, News of Deputy President William Ruto's vast wealth made headlines and elicited mixed reactions from Kenyans online, with unanswered questions arising about the poverty and riches of hustlers in the country. The political melodrama was cured by the changes made to the Deputy President's security detail when the elite GSU squad was replaced by the administration police to protect the country's second-in-command. When MPs allied to DP Ruto pushed for Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi, to be summoned to parliament to explain the withdrawal of the GSU from Ruto's guard. Matiangi showed up before the parliamentary committee with a list of multi-million shillings property owned by Ruto and protected around the clock by state officers. In his effort to paint what seemed as a detailed picture of Ruto's security structure, Matiangi provided an elaborate list of high-value ranches, homes and other properties spread across the country that he said were guarded by over 50 officers provided by the state. The list of Ruto's property, according to Matiangi, surprised many members of Ruto's hustler movement who expressed wonder at the full extent of riches owned by the chief hustler. Matiangi's list exposed acres of Ruto's land and high-end hotels guarded by officers with guns, five helicopters plus a hangar at Wilson Airport and several residential homes worth billions of shillings. Political pundits and commentators stamped Matiangi's list as a detrimental blow to Ruto's strategic hustler gospel, which he has built up over weeks and months of touring and propping himself as Kenya's economic messiah, one who has a deep understanding of poverty and how to end it once he occupies state house as president. Part of his incensed hustler campaign has also involved discrediting his main political competition as dynasties born with silver spoons in their mouths and out of touch with the plight of common mananchi. But after C.S. Matiangi's controversial list of his riches, Ruto seems to shift gears mid-flight and make adjustments in response. Wamejaribu sana kusema huyu William Ruto si maskini, lakini ni hasla. Na sasa unajua tumekua tukishinda, tukijaribu kusema, hii mambo ya hasla sio vita kati ya maskini na tajiri. Sasa hawa wametusaidia, ndiyo ijulikane wazi, Sio lazima ukue maskini, ni ukue hasla. Hasla is a different thing. Na hasla haita kuwa vita kati ya watu maskini na tajiri. So, wametusaidia katika hiyo kufafanua ya kwamba huyu William Ruto sio mtu maskini. Hakona mali. Na yeye ni hasla. Kumaanisha sio lazima uwe maskini, ni ukue hasla. Hasla ni kumanisha, unaweza kupanda ngazi wende juu. He confessed Ruto to owning 70% of the property of the list. Kana kumilikia some of his supporters in Akuru, Zaidi alisema matiangi hapo rodesha utajiri wakiwata, wanishia zi hisa.